Welcome, Camille and the Studio Birds here with a tutorial on how to make a back-to-back -back accordion fold book. This is a variation on the map fold. And the book that you see here is a book from my Etsy store called Good People. Uh, you can purchase the pattern to make this book in my store and it comes with the cover as well as the interior of the book as well as a blank pattern for you to make your own. The measurements will also be below if you decide that you'd like to just make it with your own paper so you're able to do that with those measurements. We're going to need just a few simple materials and tools. Um, you'll need to have a few pieces of compressed board for the covers and the measurements for those are, like I said, below. To begin, let's cut out the pages so that we're ready to assemble the book. To start, let's put the cover papers onto the cover. I'm going to be using PVA, but you can use any glue that you'd like. There's a front and a back to the cover. And I like to put the PVA just on the board. And make sure you get that nice thin coating. And then we'll glue it onto the paper. And the paper you need to center on the board. And there's enough light in my studio that I just hold it up to the window and then you can kind of see through it. There's actually enough light to just do that right here. So I'll line it up, top and sides, and then burnish it. Nice and smooth. And then we're ready to do the turn-ins. And turn-ins simply make your edges, sides to your covers nice and smooth. And what we do with the turn-in is we cut off the corners of the book, paper, leaving just a little bit of space between the corner of the board and the triangle that you cut out. We're going to put PVA or glue on each of these flaps, and I like to put it on the board, the edge of the board here, as well as on the flap. Do this for all four sides. and then fold them over and glue them to the board. And I like to use my fingernail when I do that. It just gives you a closer fit. You want this to go right up against the board and then fold it over and then do that for all four sides. and then do it to the other board as well. these two under some weights to dry while you complete the rest of your book. We're going to start out by assembling the two accordion pages and you'll notice that there's two pieces for each, the green page and the yellow page, and a flap that allows you to combine and connect the two together. So go ahead and glue and connect those two together and press them real well and let them dry between folding and gluing. We're going to fold the simple accordion folds for each of the pages next and it's done basically the way that you would do any fold, an accordion fold. Um, 
I'll just review that. So you're going to take the piece of paper that you've just glued and it's had some time to dry and press. You're going to fold it in half. Burnish that fold nicely. Open it back out. Then fold into the center with either each side. Then open that back out. Flip the paper over to the opposite side and the folded edge you've just folded, bring that to the center. Do that on each side. And then the last fold is just to bring this last edge into the center. I like to press all my folds well with the Teflon or bone folder or the back of a spoon and there you have it. Your first accordion fold. Do that with the second sheet as well. Now we're ready to begin folding the map fold on these two accordions and we're going to need to do it slightly differently on each sheet so that they nest together. I like to start with the yellow sheet first and what we're going to do is we're going to work to think about each of these sections as half of a box. So the fold divides two sections which create a box or a square. In the yellow we have four squares and all we're going to do is fold diagonals in each one of those squares. We want to start with the yellow side up when we fold the map fold for this sheet. It just helps later when we compress it down and each of your folds make sure you press them well. It really helps and avoid some struggle. You want to fold a good diagonal, meaning that the top lines up with the edge of the paper and the fold on this side measure, lines up with the edge of this paper. You want to do that through each of these squares. Then we want to do the map folds on the green sheet. But for this one, we want to do it on the back side of the sheet, which is the red side. And we're not going to be folding the two end sections. The boxes are going to be created out of the three interior sections. So let's start with this side, diagonal. There, so we've completed the mat folds on both sheets and now we're ready to compress them and collapse them into the final text block. Getting lots of nice encouragement from the birds in here. <laughs> so we'll begin by collapsing the green sheet and to do that all we do is pinch the centers and fold it down. Pinch the centers, collapse it down pinch the centers and collapse it down. I like to just make sure everything's folded and press those folds. We end up with a shape something like this. 
and then for the yellow one we're going to do the same exact same thing we're going to pinch the centers and collapse it down pinch the centers now we're ready to assemble the text block and you'll notice that the yellow poem sheet has a bunch of pockets once we collapse that down. But the green, the background sheet, it has a different look to it. It looks like a bunch of mountains. So we have mountains with valleys. So what you want to have happen is you want the pockets to nestle in between the mountains into the valleys and it's not tricky you just want to make sure that you're alternating and having it nest in there we're going to glue each of the side triangles to the green section at the end at the front and the back and then we're going to put just a tiny drop of glue on the interior to tack that down I like to start with the outside and do that, glue that first, and then tack the center. So we've completed our text block and now we're ready to attach it to the covers. We have a front and a back cover. We're simply going to make sure that we have the text right side up and the cover right side up. We don't. <laughs> and then we're just going to put glue and glue it to the cover, making sure that it's centered. And there you have it, the back-to-back -back accordion book. Check out more of my tutorials here on my channel. Thanks for watching.